Shalom Chevre, this is Richard Solomon and Elaine Solomon and we are going to demonstrate how Skype can be used for screen sharing. Now we are making a few assumptions. One, that you have a Skype account. Two, that you know how to uh, start a call by clicking on this button and also how, how to show your uh, self on video by clicking on this button and also that you know how to text message by writing in this particular area on the screen. Now I am using a Mac computer and if you have a PC it may be a slightly different configuration. But since this is not about video conferencing, I'm going to stop my video and click on this button. And I'm going to ask Elaine to click on her video. And you see her uh, live picture is no longer there. And that's because what we're going to be doing is we are going to share how to uh, use screen sharing. So, are you ready, Lane, for me to demonstrate what's on my screen? Yes, I am. Okay, fair enough. So, in order to do screen sharing, what I do is I click on this icon with the arrow. I can either send files or send contacts. But what I want to do is share my screen with Elaine. So, I click on that, and I this box appears, the screen sharing box appears, and I click on this Start button, and Elaine should soon be seeing a picture of my screen on her computer. Elaine, what do you see now? I actually see myself on your computer. Perfect. Now I'm going to change the screen, my screen, and tell me if you can see a different screen on your computer. Yes, I can. I can see the website Jewish Education. Would you like me to describe it? Yes, tell everyone what you see right now. The masthead, which is blue with white writing that says Jewish education. Below that, on the white part of the screen, it says welcome to Jewish education. To the left-hand side is the lesson plan book for a toolbox for teachers and mentors. To the right-hand side is a picture of the actual toolbox for teachers and mentors. And below that, I see a calendar. Okay, that's great. I want to try something. So folks can see how this thing works. I'm going to do something. Everyone can see what I'm doing. And tell me what you saw me do on my computer. I saw you log in to the website. That's exactly right. In other words, I'm capable of doing a tutorial for Elaine, if she were either a student or a teacher, and I can demonstrate jewish-education.org, tell her about the chat box and other features that are on this. But I'm not going to go and elaborate upon this right now. What I would prefer to do is to stop screen sharing. In order to stop screen sharing, I go back to this icon and I hit stop sh screen sharing. And I ask Elaine if she could share her screen on her computer with me. Remember, Elaine could be anywhere around the world, even though she's just in the next room. It can work if you have uh, an updated uh, computer and... Uh, good bandwidth. So Elaine, why don't you talk through screen sharing on your side so I can see your screen. Okay, I take my mouse and move it to the icon that's a rectangular shape with an arrow pointing out the upper right hand corner and click that. There's a small pull down menu. I go to the item that says share screen and click that. Once the next box pops up, I click start, and we should see, what do you see? 
Yeah, I see a picture of me. Can you minimize that by clicking yes, the... Yes, I can. Perfect. And I see the... the... my blog. Now, I want to show everyone something that's really interesting. This looks like a small picture of my blog that's on Elaine's screen. But if I hit this icon over here, which is View Full Screen, I will get a complete picture of the screen. And now Elaine could go and um, do a explanation of what is on her screen. So, for example, I see the blog's name and the rationale, and I see that this blog post was written on Friday, March 25th, 2011. And Elaine can scroll down. Why don't you just scroll down, Lane? And you see, she can show me what's on her screen. So now I'm seeing the, the two books. And uh, there's uh, an item for touring the blog, etc. Okay. So you... We have now demonstrated how I can see your screen and you can see my screen. Now, can you show everyone on your screen how you go and uh, stop screen sharing? Sure. I have to go back to that same icon that I had used previously, which is the rectangular box with the arrow, and go to the same part of that pull down menu which says stop screen sharing just click that and it's done now I have a picture of a full picture of Elaine if I want to reduce it I just click here and again if I wanted to have a live conversation with Elaine so she, she sees my picture we click here and uh, let me just close this down and Elaine can you Click a picture of a of you live. It's taking a little while. It's taking a little time for my camera to come on. All right. Well, this demonstrates wonderfully that these things don't always work. Oh, good, good. Is. There you are, and I do see a picture of you. So, let's review what we've done. We have demonstrated how Skype can be used not only for texting, and audio conversations and also video conversations, but one is also able to screen share, which means you can share your screen with one person in one location, and she or he can share her screen or his screen with you in another location. Well, thank you very much, Elaine. You're welcome. Shalom, everyone.